Flight Path by Storm Software. I just wanted to show you this game, educational piece of software, because I have it for the Acorn. I can't find it anywhere on the internet, so it was obviously quite rare. I think it was one of those programs you had for the Acorn machines that you could use at school, you know, age 7 to 11 or whatever, and simulate a flight path, which gives children the opportunity to plan a flight. The program involves making accurate calculations and logical decisions to produce a successful flight. Shit. We're in the sieve. As captain, children must select the most suitable aircraft and the number of stopovers before measuring the range and bearing of each leg of the flight. Destination airport. I don't know. In addition, they may need to take account of weather conditions over Europe. It is a perfectly calm day. Excellent. Such as volcanoes and shooting clouds of stuff into the sky. I probably don't simulate that, do they? But that does happen, apparently. Inside the box, we have... This is very comprehensive. Speed correction table with wind angle, wind speed. Some other software from the company, including Smudge Discovers the World. Smudge punctuates, good old Smudge. A 1996 price list and other things. Castle of Dreams. Summary sheets, inside the summary sheets there are uh, details of the uh, flight path, distances, summary sheet. God, this, looks like, this is like uh, Leonardo DiCaprio style. What was that film called? Catch me if you can. But this is what he used. Um, fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Flight Path is a simulation program which gives children the opportunity to plan a flight between any two Euro airports in Europe, North America, or Australia. And there's the captain's hat down there. There's the cockpit. And here is the manual. Suggestions for topics. Work in an airport, history of flight, bearings, timetables. This is obviously for teachers to talk to their children about. Flight Path is a simulation program. We've got some pictures of a plane there, flight departure lounge, and inside of a cabin. No horrific pictures of a plane falling to its doom and exploding in a blaze of glory, unfortunately, because that might put children off. I don't think that's the general idea. And there is the disc. Select drive and double click on the flight icon. So let's boot the old Acorn A7000 up and get this bad boy running. There we go. Firmly inserted the way it should be. Let's load it straight from the disc because we are cowboys. And here we have flight path. And there is a rather distorted map of the UK. Look how pointy that bit of land is. Jesus Christ, I could take someone's eye out. Copyright 1984-91 Storm Software. Spacebar to continue. I only choose the best for the captain's table. Please enter the airline's name. Um, got Ryanair, haven't we? What about Ryanair? Please enter the captain's name. Well, obviously that's going to be Ryan. Just to confuse things, is this information correct? Yes, it is. Please select the region you require. Europe. Okay, distance is found using computer from an atlas. Airport selected by yourself, by the computer. Wind included, no. So these are the options. Do you want to change anything? No, nope, we'll go with that. You must now select the departure and destination airports. Okay. Let's depart from London. And let's go to Barcelona. Gatwick or Heathrow. How do I select Gatwick or Heathrow? Oh, I type it in. Let's go from Gatwick. I'll just type, what do you mean? Gatwick. Destination airport. I don't know. Barcelona. Let's go. Engage. Gatwick to Barcelona. Depart at 11, arrive 1351. She looks amazingly happy 291 passengers wish to join your flight 
they are brave, brave souls. Capacity, 178. How many do I have? Uh, 261, so I need a Tristar. Let's go for a Tristar. That's going to work best for higher cost, fuel cost. Passengers should fit. Aircraft, the seating capacity of... Oh, I had more. I must have read it wrong. Okay, let's go for a uh, 747. Thank you, Captain Brian. There are 123 spare seats on your aircraft. Do you want to fly from Gatwick to Barcelona directly? Yeah. Uh, no, let's go. Let's stop once. I don't know where we'll stop. Let's find out. Let's stop at Amsterdam. Oh, come on. It's not far off, is it? All right, fine. Paris. Just want to go and pick some weed up. Press spacebar to continue. Okay, so we've got another 114 passengers from Paris. Okay, so we get more passengers. On the following map, you must find the bearing and the range from Gatwick to Paris. God, it's getting a bit complicated, isn't it? Ooh. Bearing. Gatwick to Paris. Oh, so we're learning about angles. 164. Please type in the bearing. 164, just so it goes into our brain. And the range. Not less range. Less. I'm pressing less range. Okay, it's slowly getting less. Okay, that looks about right. Oh no. Oh, come on, you've... It's a bit slow to update my key presses. Got some delay here. That's what I want. No, that's too far. That. We'll go with that. Please type in the range. 300 kilometers. Thank you, Ryan. Well, on the following map, you must find the bearing of range from Paris to Barcelona. Well, this is exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Paris to Barcelona. Fly, man. Fly, fools. I ain't getting on no plane, sucker. Type in the bearing. 194. And now we've got the range again. Bit more. Bit more. Bit more. This is one of those games which would be fun at school just because you didn't have to do any lessons, but it's a quite tedious at home. Although, you know, you'd probably play it if you had nothing else to do. It's better than watching going live. Could you say hello to everyone at Dartford Grammar School, please? Hello to everyone at Dartford Grammar School. Is that hey. all right? Good. That's the last one this morning. We won't do any more of those, otherwise we'll be here till quarter to three in the afternoon. 850 kilometers. Please confirm the range, press spacebar. I've just done this, haven't I? I thought that range was pretty much spot on, if I'm honest. Come on. How come? This is a computer. A computer can work this out. Why am I sitting here doing this? Computers were available in the 90s. Obviously, we're running this on a computer. But we'll go for that because you're being pedantic. 850, like I told you a second ago. It is a perfectly calm day. Excellent. Calm as shit. What's this finger? What's he got a growth on the top of his hand? That's not a thumb, is it? The stubbiest thumb in the world. Please fasten your seatbelts. Oh, we're, we're taking off. Oh my God, look at these people's heads. They're massive. Come on, we're gonna need more speed than that. We're gonna die. How did that happen? That was going so slowly. All right, anyway, we're on route. We're going, oh my God. Do we get to see the whole flight? This is amazing. I want, I want, I want storms. I want a bad day so I can see this aircraft being blown to bits. I don't want, I don't want a bloody calm day. 
is disappointing to say the least. Do we have to watch this? It was like a gingerbread man. Falling to Paris. Oh, here we go, land. We're coming into land. Oh, this is the slowest aircraft I've ever seen. My God, it's a bit close to those houses. And we are down. Let the good times roll. Aren't they the exact same people who were at Gatwick? How did they get here before us? Okay, we're at Paris. Can we, um... Can we get some choppy air now, do you think, on the way to... Oh, balance sheet, my God. 114, per look at the income. Oh, this is amazing, I want to run an airline. Overall balance sheet, notice to captain en route, choice of aircraft, just right. My range is a bit short. Oh well. Yeah, jump on board. We've got plenty of room on our 747. Bucket loads of space. The more the merrier. If we have to, we'll stow you in the baggage area. And we are off again. Oh, this is a bit of a longer flight, isn't it? Do we have... Can we... No. Is this just the pad out classroom time? Make the kids watch a tedious animation while the teacher goes off for a fag around the back of the bike sheds. Oh, it's going a bit quicker. Why are we waiting? We are hesitating. Why aren't we crashing into a burning building? Why are we waiting? Why are we not stating? Oh my god, I've overshot it by a country mile! I'm going to go into the bloody sea! Oh good god. Shit. We're in the sea. You crashed 55 kilometers from Barcelona. Oh god, I'm dead! But I've still got a profit sheet. Do you want to try another flight? No, I bloody don't. There we go! So that is Flight Path by Storm Software for the Acorn range of educational computers. And this is now going on eBay. Well, I'm sure it will command at such a high price for... I'll be able to feed my kids for another week. Thanks for watching!